Hey guys, and welcome to What Motorbiking Does for My Mental Health. And for that matter, anyone's mental health, I believe. So we're here today in the beautiful, the sun's come out, beautiful Cotswolds, just to go for a ride. I'm gonna go over what motorbiking does for my mental health and how it benefits it in so many different ways. Now, starting with the first point, it gets me out of the house. So I was feeling a bit down. Instead of staying in the house, moping around the house, being in London, I'm in a city, so it's really busy. That You get the traffic, the cars, the pollution. It can get stressful. So the first point, is getting out of the house, unwrapping the bike in the morning, getting your gear on, jumping on the bike, and just going for a ride to somewhere beautiful, like where I am today, the Cotswolds. So, number one point gets me out of the house. If you're feeling bad, like I'm sure if a lot of you can um, understand if you're, if you're in the house it's often the easiest thing to do is to just stay there and, and, and sort of feel sorry for yourself. I mean, it's very hard to get up and do things but if you can find that motivation and that's what motorbiking does for me. It's always there. I look outside the window and there's old Speedy, the girl, ready to go for a ride and I can just go anywhere. It's that freedom to just go for a ride and clear the head instead of moping around the house and, and just dwelling and feeling sorry for yourself is get out on your bike, get the fresh air, go exploring and just enjoy the sensations of, of riding your motorbike. So I found some new friends here. <laughs> they love the Speedmaster. Everyone loves the Speedmaster. How can't you? But moving on to our second point of what it does for my mental health and can do for your mental health as well. So a big one for me is moving on from just getting out of the house, getting some sunshine, fresh air out here in the country, fresh air and just traveling. So experiencing new places, whether you're feeling good or not, it just gets you out and it gives your, your brain, your head, what do I find anyway, my head a chance to see new things, to be curious and excited about discovering new areas. So I find with, with, with mental health, there's often a, a lack of interest in things can be a big thing because other, other thoughts take over. So getting yourself out of the house and, and traveling around, my journey through this motorbiking, I've, it's taken me all the way through the Alps mountains, from south to north. I've gone all the way through the Pyrenees mountains. It's just been so good for me. And on top of that, getting out simple things, wildlife like this. I mean, this pulled here in the middle of Cots the Cotswolds right next to a field and I've got about a hundred sheep or rams just sw swarming around the bike. Fresh air, sun on my face. It's so good for you getting out like this and motorbiking offers the perfect solution to do it. So we're just heading to a local town now on the traveling point. I've literally just put it into my Google Maps on my phone, heading to a beautiful local town. And I'm genuinely interested to see what this town's got to offer. Look, here's another big bonus. Fellow motorbikers, such a great community, but that's the point for later. Yeah, just traveling to this local town to have some lunch. So we're gonna go in, take it chilled, and have a bit of lunch. I find that, you know, this is a, a point for my personal health. I, mental health i get um anxiety if you want to know more about it visit my patreon page i'll go more into depth about it there but getting out and exploring and being in new places that i don't know is is slightly challenging for me but um i find it does help me grow i, I i'm interested in these places so i want to see it and see new people and be in foreign places helps helps my curiosity and interest in life and also you meet meet lots of people so we're just coming down into the beautiful town of chipping campton which i assume is beautiful because i've never been here before i'm gonna stop for lunch and get on to our next point of why motorbiking helps with my mental health so much. Ah, uh, this stunning, the uh, Cotswolds, these old thatched houses with the Cotswold stones, beautiful. Wow. 
Yeah, so be sure to stay tuned to the end, guys, where I'm actually I'm going to go into the main reason why motorbiking I find so beneficial for my mental health. Just working our way through the points. I could go on about it forever. I really could. It's just there's so many benefits and uh, good points of it, really, for your mental health. What a sweet little place. Beautiful around here. See, I've never been here before. It's already making me feel quite happy, this. <laughs> Find a place to park. That looks as good as any. So we just parked up in uh, Chipping Campton, just having a walk around this beautiful, beautiful Cotswold village. Um, and what I like to do is stop for a coffee somewhere or some food just relax, take time to relax, take in the scenery, um, potentially meet some people, which is always good. Don't have to, no pressure, just go in, just relax really, have a nice time. So what we'll do, we're gonna do that, find a place to grab a coffee, and then um, after that we'll go into my main reason why I find motorbiking so good for my mental health. guys so stop for that lovely coffee there in a really nice place um, just sat by the fire Whoa, nice and warm feeling good to hit the road again heads clear now I said I'd come on to my favorite bit of um, how motorbiking helps helps out the mental health my main thing is the involvement and the the feeling feeling you get so the feeling of it bringing you out of your own head um, I suppose it's a sort of meditation and mindfulness exercise. When you jump on the bike, you just get to start it up, whether it be in the morning or now or whenever. So I'm just going to fire it up. You get the noise of the exhaust, the vibrations, and you're outside as well. You've got the fresh air. So we just start it up now. It's such an involving experience, can't explain it. However bad you're feeling, it seems to bring me out of my head, and especially when you get moving. It's that mindfulness when you're riding along. And this is where the motorbike really comes into its own for your mental health. You're so exposed. In a car, you don't have the wind, the smells, the temperature changes. It's just so involving on a motorbike. It really does help you come out of your own head and help just force you to be more mindful. And it's hard to do to be mindful. So at first, however bad you're feeling you don't even need to try when you're riding a motorbike because you just have to ride it safely it's such an involving experience you don't have to try it's just so involving it brings you out of your head anyway so that is that's what really got me into it and how it helps me so much however bad i'm feeling really i can just i know i can jump on my bike it's always there the bike just jump on it and go for a ride and it really does clear your head. I do plan on doing other other videos more in depth in the future about this to maybe help people practice it but I practice meditation a lot myself. It's very hard when you're feeling bad so I get it you just find it so hard but when you start getting a little bit better you can start practicing being more mindful whilst riding your motorbike which I think makes it a more involving ride and also makes it a much safer ride as well because you're much more aware of your surroundings and your other vehicles, the road surface, the weather, whether there's slippy bits coming up. So it's just, it's good all round really, being more mindful. Okay guys, so you never know what you're gonna see. I've just bumped into Nigel here on his blood bike. Say hi, Nigel. Good morning, how are you? I'm very well. I'm good, thanks. So what do you do in a brief explanation, if you could? Well, we basically, we are charity, so we're self-funding. Yeah. And we're all volunteers, and we take 
blood right. samples, blood products like obviously blood and platelets from one hospital to another Fantastic. in four counties. That's so Northamptonshire, okay. Buckinghamshire, Berkshire and Oxfordshire. Okay. Brilliant. In addition, which is what I do quite a lot of and I've just come back from, is we collect ladies' breast milk from their homes, which has been frozen and I take it to the milk bank in the John Radcliffe Hospital oh, okay. um, for processing and giving to babies in need. So very good good deeds being done. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we do quite a lot. And you riding a Yamaha... Yamaha FJR, yeah. FJR, FJR. upgrading to the BMW... That's correct. Well, we've, F, they stopped making FJRs now, I understand. Yeah. So we're going to the BMW 1250RT. RT, cool. It's going through okay. trials at the present moment. Um, yeah. But in order to, you've got to put a special rack on the back, and it's got to be. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's your? What was the fan, the organisation again? Just we'll give you. Right, a... It's called Serve. Serve. S E R V. So it's called Serve. S E R V. Oh, okay. There Sir, we go. Serve Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. So check them out, guys. Doing okay. lots of uh, lots of good work, and uh, obviously riding some great motorbikes. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> okay. Cool, guys. So another example I've just bumped into. Saeed. Saeed. Cool. Yeah. So Saeed and Gus on Red Ang Revival. He's, what are you test riding? I'm test riding the KTM Adventure. Uh, nice. And you ride, a, you ride a Harley, you were saying? I ride a Harley. I ride a, a uh, Heritage Classic. Oh, okay. Which uh, can't go off road, so I'm testing this to see whether when I go on trips that I go off road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I go with this. What I'm worried about is that it's on the straight. Yeah. When you're going 70, it might be too, you know, vibratory, too yeah, noisy. Okay. Yeah. Off, I've tested it off road. It's fantastic. You have taken it off road. Yeah? Uh, not, not this one. Oh. But I've taken a course. Oh, okay. Off road with yeah. this, yeah, yeah. training, it's and it's been really good because it's. It's got low center of gravity because okay. the, the tank is lower. Yeah. So it's uh, it's very easy to handle. Perfect. But I'm just worried about long distance. You should try maybe the Honda Africa Twin as well. I have, but that's that's uh, too tall for me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And this has got lower center of gravity. Yeah. Okay. So I prefer this to. Look You're not going to get some knobbly tires on the Harley Davidson and just. No, <laughs> it's too low. <laughs> okay, quick, we better go now, back on the road. Cheers, Dave. Nice to meet you. Take care. So on the mindfulness side of it, just as an example, just riding along this road here, not much going on, but there's a big lorry behind me, <laughs> um, which brings you out of your head, but given the road conditions in the winter, so they're quite slippy roads here, quite muddy, this corner coming up I can't see all the way around it need to come out to the left a bit and be aware of what's coming around the roads drying up a bit here so I'll pick the dry spots to ride at the same time I'm also thinking of this lorry behind me driving and what he's up to whether he's too close far away and how he's driving there's just there's so much to I probably sound like I'm going on about it a bit too much but there's so much you can be aware of you just forget about everything else I find that anyway, I really do. And then on top of that, you've got all of the beautiful scenery if you're, if you're in a nice place. You've just got nature that's just great for you anyway, good for the, good for the mental health anyway. There's so many points I can go into. Um, I'm trying to sort of hold myself back, but yeah, I'm going to do a lot more videos on it in the future. If, if you like the idea of it, guys, please do make sure you subscribe and then you'll get a good warning and you can see see more videos of sort of mindful motorbiking in the future. So, as well as the mindfulness and the bringing you out of your head, then massive benefits motorbiking gives me. Moving on to what we're on, I forgot what, I'm not counting anymore. Moving on to the next point of the benefits. Especially for me with anxiety, I get a lot of, um, I get social anxiety. Really complicated, had it for a long time, I don't know why. But the big, big benefit I have gained massively through motorbiking, and I think a lot of people could, and a lot of people definitely do, but more could, is the social side of it. It's just, just riding up here today, this morning I bumped into at least three people. Bumped into a few guys at, when I was filling up with petrol, just a couple of motorbikers. Yeah, just really nice, really interesting people. And you're all 
It's just a really good like icebreaker, barrier breaker. Generally, when you sit bikers or no, um, but when you meet other bikers or you see other bikers, there's, there's that community, automatic community of like-minded people. So there's an automatic, something that you're all interested in, that you can immediately have a connection to speak with someone. And however bad I've been feeling, the, the biking community so far has been so good, so welcoming, like, and I'm completely open now with my mental health, which I, I didn't used to be in the past, so. Yeah, it's a great tool to connect with people, and even non-bikers. Sure, it happens on other bikes, but especially the Speedmaster. Like, I've met a few people today, just the amount of people that stop you saying, oh man, what a cool bike, or where's it from, what are you up to, are you traveling? You, you just, it opens so many doors to meet um, some great people. So that is, that's a really, really cool benefit. Okay guys, so last but very much not least point, there's many more but we're going to have to finish the video at some point. And my last thing for, for the benefits for your mental health is the motorbike's always there. I know it sounds obvious but it's that reassurance like the motorbike's not going to change if you're having a if i'm having a bad day and i feel i need to get out or clear my head the motorbike's always there maybe my head's feeling bad and you know i'm the, the thoughts are a bit much and you just can't get things straight in your head it's reassuring you just look out the window or wherever you keep your motorbike in the garage or wherever and the bike's there you can just hop on there she is your trusty steed as they say, excuse the, uh, what is it, the, the corny comment, or whatever. But yeah, your, your steed is there, and you can just jump on, fire her up, and, and you're off, and everything else just sort of seems to dissipate into the background. You just go for a ride, the road's there. I know it sounds a bit corny, but you just ride the road. The road's not going anywhere. Your bike's there, and there's just endless places you can go and explore. That's the final point. It's always there for you to jump on and just go and clear your head. I'd like to say thank you for watching. I hope that's uh, given a clear idea of how motorbiking can help me and can possibly help you as well with your mental health. Um, I plan on doing a lot more videos like this, so stay tuned and let me know if you want to see anything more specific or know anything more about myself and how motorbiking can help. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. This has been Red Ang Revival. Stay happy, get out there and ride. All the best. Ciao Bella.